Okay, hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about control systems in industrial robots. Here we have uh, some features of industrial robots. An industrial robot is a complex and technical system consisting of several subsystems uh, operating within a robot's physical makeup. Each of these subsystems performs its uh, own carefully defined functions and contributes to the overall function of the industrial robot. Uh, three of the more important of these subsystems include kinematics, uh, the control system and dr the drive. Okay, uh, and thus in kinematics we have uh, Cartesian coordinate robot and cylindrical coordinate robot and also we have uh, polar coordinate and joint arm robot. Okay, here the kinematics refer to the spatial arrangement uh, according to the sequence and structure. Uh, the axis of the moment in relation to each other. There are four basic type of moment that an industry robot may have uh, Cartesian, cylindrical, uh, polar and jointed arm. Okay. Um, and thus we have uh, control systems. Here are the control systems of an industrial robot determine its uh, flexibility and efficiency within the limits set beforehand by the design of the mechanical structure. Okay. Here what is the uh, main purpose of the control system? Okay. The control system provides a logical sequence for the robot to follow uh, the system provides the theoretical position values required for each step and continuously measures the actual position during the moment as the robot operates uh, the control system evaluates uh, the theoretical actu and actual differences uh, together with other measured values and stored data and it can produce actuating variables to drive the robot types of control systems we have uh, we have uh, two basic types of systems. One is the point to point control system, and another one is continuous path control system. Okay, and point to point control system, uh, uh, the robot records the point where it picks up a part and the point where it releases the part. Uh, the robot uh, then determines the best path to take between the two points. The point to point system is used, to, used when uh, greater repeatability is required or when the path between endpoints does not matter. Okay, uh, the point to point control system work well in uh, loading and unloading applications. Okay, in continuous path control system, a continuous path control system is open in which uh, the robot is programmed to follow an irregular path exactly. Inside the control system, the path to be traveled is represented by a large number of points in close proximity. And also, these points are uh, stored in the robot's memory. In the working circle, the robot follows the points to reproduce the desired path. The system is used for jobs when the robot is required to follow a specific path such as welding or painting like that. And we have uh, uh, another one important point in control system that is uh, drive, uh, control drives. The drive of the robot converts the power supply to the grippers into kinetic energy used for moving the robot. The basic type of uh, driver system include electrical, pneumatic and hydraulic. In electrical drive system, the electromechanical drive systems are used in about 20% uh, of today's robots. These systems are uh, servo motors, uh, stepping motors and pulse motors. These motors convert electrical energy into mechanical energy to power the robot. And pneumatic drive systems, uh, the pneumatic drive systems are uh, found in approximately 30% of today's robots. These systems are uh, compressed air to power the robot since mission shops uh, typically have uh, compressed air lines uh, in their working areas and the pneumatically driven robot is driven robot is very popular. Unfortunately, this system does not make for easy control of either speed, position or uh, essential ingredients for any successful robot. And hydraulic driven systems, uh, the most popular form of dri drive system is the hydraulic system because the hydraulic cylinders and motors are compact and are high levels of force and power together with accurate control a hydraulic actuator uh, converts forces from high pressure hydraulic fluid into mechanical shaft rotation or linear motion and thus uh, the higher in this okay and this uh, the hydraulic fluid power is more cost effective for uh, short stroke straight line positioning requiring high forces and controlled acceleration and repetitive motion <clears throat> no other drive system packs as much as power into such a small package no other drive is safe or uh, as resist resistant to harsh environment okay and also we have uh, some real time applications in uh, industrial robots okay uh, uh, by using a control system the industrial robot system usually consists of uh, 
controlled by four parts first one is a robot body and second we have server system and also the control system have sensor among them this control system is equivalent to the brain of industrial robots whose task is to drive the robot body to complete the specific task according to the user's instructions that's it thank you